What's up, guys? It's Nick Gods here. We're gonna be doing Gyro Tour episode three. You know how it is. It's gonna be crazy. We got a big episode planned. We're going to Moby Dick. You know the giant whale guy. He actually cracked. Look, do you see it? It's over there somewhere. We're gonna go get it. I'll see you there. All right, team, we just got the gyro. Look at it, look. Look, do you see it in there? All right, I'm gonna go drive to the feasting destination. So, just stay tuned. Look, we're going. Yeah, you know how it is. We're gonna be eating good tonight. Okay, Moby Dick is like, Moby Dick's a really good place. They've been feeding me for years. It's uh, amazing. Amazing place. They always feed. Oh my god, look at this guy. Yo, what the? Yo, this guy's a G. I like that guy. We keep him. Okay, we made it. Look at this place. This is where you eat a gyro. Don't forget, don't forget that. And we'll open it up. Overall packaging is definitely A+. Let's open this here. Oh my god, it's looking good. Let's check the interior. Ooh, nice bread. They make the bread in house. Oh, that's a good piece of meat. I am not gonna lie. I have high hopes. Okay, let me begin. Guess I'm rocking the Shana Meaty Tea. You know how it is. Okay, look at that cross section. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, bro. All right, I'm gonna take the first bite. We also got two pieces of sauce. We'll try these out in a sec. This is definitely a plus. This is definitely a top tier gyro. Thing is, it does have the Arby's effect where there's not enough sauce, but thing is they give you your own sauce. You see this? This is good sauce. This is good stuff. And this one's called green. If you want a little bit more spice in your jank. We'll see it, we'll see it. Mmm, mmm. Yeah. Definitely gave it the boost it needed. I definitely like that, that's facts. Put some, put some more jank on there, you know how it is. Why must we hold back? There's no, no need to hold back, boy. We in the Shauna Meaty t-shirt, you know how it is. I'm gonna take it, take it like this. Mmm. Mm hmm. The bread is good. You can tell it's homemade. It's nice and like you know, it's springy. You like push it, come back. A good gyro, you know it's good. If it has feta cheese, let me pull out a piece. You see this? Feta cheese is great for combating like the strong flavors of like the other stuff. It gives like a more of a contrast, you know? And the vegetables are good. They're just normal vegetables. Meat? I could say it needs more meat. This is this isn't enough for a big boy like me. But the meat is top tier. Do not deny that. Look at this. Look at this meat. Let me get a close up. Bro. Bro, you are not capping. This meat is superb, my G. <laughs> Do you see that? Do you feel what I mean? Do you see that? You understand? Do you see that? Bird not eating in there because there's no food. Do you guys think I should put a gyro in here next episode? See if they eat? No, we'll find out. I want to see if that bunny's still there. We got the squirrel over there. He's chilling. See him? I'll definitely give it 
I'd say 6.5 to 6 on the scale. See that? That's 6. I don't think it's better than Halal Guys, though, but I do think it definitely does rival it. And I don't know. I mean, it's definitely good. It definitely does rival the top dogs, but we're going to see some very, very strong competitors soon and later in the Gyro Tour, which you guys will be excited for. And all right, that's all I got to say. Stay beautiful, people. Nick Gods is here to save you. Good night. What's up, G? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Bro, oh, if I saw you earlier, we could have had some Moby Dick. You know what I mean? All right, have a good one, G.